Welcome to the French Made Easy podcast, where I give you all the basics you need to speak French clearly and confidently. I'm your host, Mathilde, and I'm a French teacher, mompreneur, and bread and cheese lover. Join me as I dive into all things French for beginners and deliver to you bite-sized, easy-to-follow lessons every Tuesday. Let's get started. On commence. Hello everyone, welcome back to the French Made Easy podcast. This is episode number 107, numéro 107. So as you may or may not know, there are a few common expressions in French where we use the verb avoir, to have, whereas in English we use the verb to be. One example that you probably already know is when expressing age. Par exemple, j'ai 30 the direct word for word translation would be I have 30 years old because we use the verb avoir to have in French to express age. But in English, you say I am 30 years old, not I have. So it can often bring some confusion um, with French learners because it is not a direct word for word translation. So in today's lesson, we will learn 15 expressions using the verb avoir, to have, in French, but where the verb to be is used in English. So it would be good if you don't know all of these expressions yet that you learn them by heart as they are pretty common. Now, before we start, if you are new to the podcast, welcome, welcome. Make sure you have your lessons cheat sheet in front of you during the lesson. Now, there are no exercises for this particular lesson, but you can still head over to the French Made Easy exercise library to access all of the other exercises from previous episodes. All the links are in the episode notes. All right, so I will give you the expression in French and a simple example sentence to see how to use it. First one, avoir 20 ans, to be 20 years old. Avoir 20 ans, and obviously you can use any number. Par exemple, j'ai 30 ans, I am 30 years old. Old, j'ai 30 ans. Avoir de la chance, to be lucky. Avoir de la chance. Par exemple, elles ont de la chance. They are very lucky. Elles ont de la chance. Avoir chaud, to be hot. Avoir chaud, on a trop chaud. We are too hot. On a trop chaud. Chaud. Avoir froid, to be cold. Avoir froid. On n'a pas froid. We are not cold. Avoir faim, to be hungry. Avoir faim. Par exemple, est-ce que vous avez faim? Are you hungry? Est-ce que vous avez faim? Avoir soif, to be thirsty. Avoir soif. Par exemple, est-ce que vous avez soif? Are you thirsty? Est-ce que vous avez soif? Avoir l'habitude de. To be used to. Avoir l'habitude de. Nous avons l'habitude de prendre l'avion. We are used to flying. Nous avons l'habitude de prendre L'avion. Avoir mal. To be hurt or to be in pain. Avoir mal. Par exemple, il n'a pas mal. Is not hurt or is not in pain. Il n'a pas mal. Avoir peur de. To be afraid of. Avoir peur de. Est-ce que tu as peur des araignées? Are you Afraid of spiders. Est-ce que tu as peur des araignées? Avoir raison. To be right. Avoir raison. Par exemple, j'ai souvent raison. I'm often right. J'ai souvent raison. Avoir tort. 
to be wrong. Avoir tort. Par exemple, il n'a pas tort. He's not wrong. Il n'a pas tort. Avoir sommeil. To be sleepy. Avoir sommeil. Par exemple, les enfants ont sommeil. The kids are sleepy. Les enfants ont sommeil. Avoir de la peine. To be sad. Avoir de la peine. Par exemple, elle a de la peine. She's sad. Elle a de la peine. Avoir honte de. To be ashamed of. Avoir honte de. Ils ont honte de leur comportement. They are ashamed of their behavior. Ils ont honte de leur comportement. And last expression, avoir hâte de. To be looking forward to. Avoir hâte de. Par exemple, j'ai hâte de les aider. I'm looking forward to helping them. J'ai hâte de les aider. All right, so that's it for the expression. Now let's just do a quick recap. Avoir 20 ans, to be 20 years old. Avoir de la chance, to be lucky. Avoir chaud, to be hot. Avoir froid, to be cold. Avoir faim, to be hungry. Avoir soif, to be thirsty. Avoir l'habitude de, to be used to. Avoir mal, to be hurt or to be in pain. Avoir peur de, to be afraid of. Avoir raison, to be right. Avoir tort, to be wrong. Avoir sommeil, to be sleepy. Avoir de la peine, to be sad. Avoir honte, de, to be ashamed of. Avoir hâte, de, to be looking forward, to. And voilà, that is the end of today's episode. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you enjoyed the episode and I will chat with you in the next one. A bientôt. Bye. Hey, it's me again. Before you go, I just wanted to let you know that if you are struggling with French pronunciation, I am excited to announce my new and free beginner's audio guide. It's called Five Step Roadmap to a Faultless French Pronunciation. It's really designed to simplify your French pronunciation journey and to make it less overwhelming for you. So if you are a beginner starting or restarting to learn French and you want to improve your French pronunciation, then this audio guide is perfect for you. And obviously, you also get a transcript with the audio guide so you can follow along while you listen. So click the link inside your podcast notes to access your audio guide. It is free. A bientôt. Bye.